Hello everybody and welcome to another empowering move moment interview. Today I will have um, Sophia Noel on the show and uh, you probably wonder whether Noel, Noel Christmas in French, whether that is the reason why you've got you've got here a festive background no it is not the reason why but uh, i will tell you shortly let's see if i can get her in here we go she should be with us any second yes here she is hello, hello. well now i wish i had shot in front of my christmas tree <laughs> You've got one up already oh, yes. as well. Oh yes. <laughs> ah, our I, children have insisted we need to have the tree up a little bit earlier this year so we can enjoy it for longer. So mm -hmm. yes, it was set up last weekend. I have two eight-year-olds, and after oh, Halloween, um, on on November the second, yeah. can we put the tree up? It's early. It's early. No, no, no. We have to do it. So we did it. So, Sophia, tell me, where is your beautiful accent from? Uh, well, I'm a little bit of a hodgepodge mess. I'm an American, but I think I've lived outside of the U.S. more than I've lived in the U.S. So right okay. now, right now, I'm in Lebanon. If you can believe it. Okay. That. Yeah, you didn't know that. You thought I was in in the U.K., didn't you? Yeah, um, well, I thought because we've been communicating at all sorts of times. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Global community. So right now I am in a little teeny, I'm in a little teeny tiny village in the south of Lebanon right now. Okay. Interesting. Well, uh we shall talk about this another time because I think that might be a bit of a longer story. Yeah. <laughs> but but I wanted to welcome you at uh, at the Move Moment interview series. We already had the pleasure to have your co founder. With us, you, yeah, actually, she's not. Is she a co-founder, cool Vanessa? I'm the founder, but she is my business partner, and she's lovely. <laughs> Your business partner, yes. I thought I wasn't saying it quite right, uh, but we had her already on the show. So today we've got you here, and um, yeah, so it, it's a very special uh, time of the year because it, it's Christmas coming up, right? And uh, and it is a special Christmas because. Um, the whole world has been in lockdown for two Christmases in a row. And so everybody is super excited to uh, socialize, right? And to get out there and be amongst people and celebrate. And um, I have been, because I think a lot, I think a lot about different things. And my concern is that people now are very much worried about that socializing and focusing on the socializing and and really how to get ready to be socially active and, and how to look the best, you know. What's where uh, for the Christmas season seems to be the mostly looked up phrase on Google search. And, uh, and uh, so people are booking, you know, spa treatments and, and hairdresser appointments and nail bar appointments and all this sort, but um, very little attention is actually paid to our inner well-being which is very very important because whilst yes we have been deprived for being socially active and this has been super hard um a lot of us have been scarred some way or the other either by losing their jobs or by you know going through relationship challenges some even divorce and uh, have so all suffered from mental illness and so it is equally important that we achieve a sustainable balance that I always talk about uh, with the morph bag, a sustainable balance, which is a balance uh, within your emotional, spiritual, physical well-being. And yes, of course, if you build an armor um, of confidence by styling yourself beautifully, that is very important uh, too for your, your feeling of empowerment. But uh, whatever you do on the outside is not going to shine through if you are not addressing the inside. So in a true morph moment ethos and morph bag ethos, it was very important for me to join forces with 
Elegant Alchemy to offer this joint gift to make sure that we all actually address our inner well-being and our inner balance before we actually start looking into making ourselves look beautiful for, for finally being able to socialize and spending time with all our dear friends and family members. So, so without further ado, welcome, <laughs> Sophia Noel, very, a very fitting uh, surname, despite the different spelling of Noel in French for Christmas. But welcome, welcome to the show. And, and um, yes, absolutely delighted. We are collaborating Me this too. Christmas time where we're joint gifting opportunity. Now, Me too. We're very without excited. further ado, I would like yes. to find out what your background was before you had a move moment in your life that instigated the need for build something positive with Elegant Alchemy so that you can share assistance and help in healing. On to you. So oh, okay. So I, I had a couple of morph moments. Love that, morph moments. So I'm a science geek. So my background is actually functional wellness, um, clinical nutrition. Uh, I ran a really thriving functional health business. Um, dealing with people with some really chronic illnesses. Um, while I was running that, I had triplets, though. So you asked about that story. Yeah, I had triplets. Um, and that was a challenge, but I still kept running my business. And uh, again, you know, I was, I was, I loved running that business. But about three years after I had my triplets, one of them, um, one of my daughters died. And I, here I am in Lebanon uh, in a whole totally different culture because even though I'm multicultural, this was a very unique experience to go through this. And I found myself without support. Now I was already using what I was, you know, what I do in Elegant Alchemy to a given degree in my previous company. Um, and I've always been deeply spiritual. So about six months after my daughter died, realizing that I had no support here. I mean, you know, you, they try, they try to support, they bring food. Um, but you know, it's the usual, I don't know if it's the same in Italy, but it's like, when are you going to have another baby? Um, oh, this is God's will. And, you know, and that's not something that I really wanted to hear at that time. No. Um, but I realized how many women go through things in their lives. It can be death, divorce. Um, those are big ones. Career moves, career changes, birth of children. Um, and they really, you know, they have people around them that want to say the right things, but they don't have any real profound support. And True. so out of that, birthed elegant alchemy i mean out of out of death birthed elegant alchemy which is a place where where i seek not only to give you another supplement because that's what at the end of the day when you go to a functional medicine practitioner they're looking at the supplements they're looking at your diet they're looking at your you know do you need to meditate do you need to do you know what do you need to do um yeah but at elegant alchemy it's about really finding the blocks or the restrictions that exist in it that are actually trapped in the body. And once you diagnose, you root those out and you are able to release them, then you can move forward powerfully. I did this work on myself after losing mm -hmm. my daughter. So I figured out that not only can we deal with health, but we can also deal with anxiety, depression, bereavement, um, you know, wanting to create something and not really know how. And so my morph moment really was the death of my daughter and realizing that I need more support than just words. I need to do some really profound inner work. And most, I mean, we work with men too, but we mostly work with women. And providing them that really profound support on a deep level, helping them release the blocks and the restrictions so that they can move forward. I knew that was the best thing I could have done for myself was that inner work. Yeah. I understand. And can I ask you just to get a 
deeper understanding. I mean, you explain it very, very well here. But if we were to compare um, the services you offer with Elegant Alchemy with other disciplines mm. that also help to heal um, emotional barriers or, or right. difficult experiences, right. like uh, psychiatrists, sure. for example, sure. Where where is the comparison there, and where is what is the difference in the way um, of treatment, if we can say? That's a good question, um, and I'm going to be a little bit careful here because the, you know therapy really does help for a lot of people. If you're going to talk about our point of difference from psychiatry, clearly there um, are drugs in, usually involved with psychiatry. Um, with psychology, it's it's top therapy. We know this, you know, and, and it's, it's got its place. Um, elegant alchemy just is, well, that's actually a really good question. I've never really thought about it in that, in those terms, but really it's about, it's, it's, it's about finding those blocks, which would, could take you 20 years in therapy to find, identifying okay. them and clearing them fast. So this is really rapid release. It's multidimensional because we are not only third dimensional beings. We are no. mind, body, and spirit. Yes. And so w when I'm looking for the blocks in the body, I'm not only looking from a physical level, I'm also looking from a mental level, an emotional level, and a spiritual level, and clearing all the blocks from all of the dimensions. Psychology really can't get you there. You know, it deals with the mental. But the problem is, is we all know, we have all kinds of stories in our minds. We have all, all of our limitations, all of our, all of our perceptions, all of our flaws, everything that we perceive. So our mind can lie to us and does a lot of times. So if you just are dealing with a mental level, you're only you're you're only not even getting half of, of the issue because we're subjective right so when we tell our story and our problems it's the way we perceive them sure during the experience so this is how the uh, psychologist would hear it and this is the uh, point of view that they will right. receive and so sometimes that can lead to misinterpretations sure. of issues right and so I utilize, I use, I utilize a pendulum, which, you know, I'm not asking the pendulum anything, but the pendulum is, is looking at your entire field as a whole. So we're looking at where something is in the body, because let's say, let's say you carry grief like I did for six months as I was doing this work, my digestion was a mess. Well, of course it was because everything was stuck in my gut. So helping, you know, identifying that that's where it is and releasing it from all of the dimensional aspects of me helped me move forward. And it's often a click. It's often, I always tell people I'm not a healer. I am a switch flicker. It's about going in and finding the right switches to flick. Did I say that right? I always, I always, I am <laughs> yes, and I, you know, it totally resonates with me what you're saying because I suffered two bereavements in my family in a very little, you know, the very little distance of time, and also a best friend of mine had died also just beforehand. So three bereavements basically, and and um, it's the way it manifested itself in with my physical well-being was that my digestion wasn't wasn't working at all for the longest time. So it is true, it does go through the gut. I mean, we do say in language, don't we? Um, it's in the gut when you say, you, you talk, you've got a gut feeling or you're, you've, it goes through your gut or some yeah. problem. It's because yeah. literally this is what happens and there is this um, strong connection between uh, the mind and the digestive system through the vagus nerve. Yes. And actually there are a lot of things that get trapped in the endocrine system, the thyroid, um, all, it, they can get lots can get stuck anywhere in the body, but you have to find where they're stuck, and then you have to release them multidimensionally. And you were talking so eloquently about how we're making nail bar appointments. I know when I come to London in a week and a half, I've got all the appointments. Um, 
myself, so I know all about that. Uh, but what we're finding at Elegant Alchemy is, okay, people are being thrust back into parties and socializing and all of that. But what we're actually seeing is a lot of women going, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know how to speak. I don't remember how to communicate. And they really are having massive challenges with going from the isolation that lockdown really provided mm -hmm. um, into yeah. that social scene. And it's almost like it's, they're, they're looking at it like it's a ledge, like, okay, we're pushed to the ledge and now we're asked to jump. And so what we do is actually find the blocks and the restrictions there and they can, they run the gambit. I mean, the, the emotional statements body is, you know, women with oh, no. migraines. They lose you. Um, for example, uh, find that their migraines actually dissipate when we do this work. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I have a growling dog next to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you think, I think she's saying, oh, Luz, you need to speak to Sophia then about your frequent migraines when you become unbearable for the rest of the family. No. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, I understand. It's very, um, it's very true that we are complicated. We, you know, we have multi dimensions to our well-being, and it is absolutely essential that we address them every single one in order to find that magic balance. And I always say that, uh, you know, if you achieve a sustainable lifestyle, you need to find that inner balance. Absolutely. That's why we love what you do at Morph Bag. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we haven't really revealed what we're doing with our special gifting, but this is about people knowing that there is a joint gift, right? That yes. will give you the possibility of healing and styling at the same time for this uh, first uh, not lockdown Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, the way they can access the gifts are in uh, on the morph bag. You just link um, up top my profile, and that will lead you on my Christmas page. And when you scroll down, I mean, you're supposed to read it ideally. But <laughs> at the bottom, there will be a subscribe button, and when you do, you will automatically receive your gift instantly through an email. And uh, what about the Elegant Alchemy? How do you do the that? The same thing. We have a link in our bio that will lead you to our Christmas page, which will do exactly the same thing. And, and I'll actually give you the opportunity to buy instantly if you'd like. Brilliant. So now to get back to Elegant Alchemy, because it's a super fascinating website you've got up there and, and all the different services if i can call them services you tell me if there offering. is a better description to it I call offerings, them offering. offerings. that's much nicer isn't it offerings offerings that you offer would you give us a little bit of an insight of your tabs on your website of what the different sure. things do i mean also there is a body response that sounds that's, amazing that is my reason for getting up in the morning is i love everything that i do um, I do Akashic Record readings, uh, which tells you who you are at a soul level and, and releases oh, wow. very special blocks um, that you carry with you from lifetime to lifetime. But my favorite offering, which is the one I think everyone would just need to book in, is Body Response. Yes. And Body Response... Just the one that's, that's the one I am on. That's the one you're eyeing. That's the one you've got to have. Because this is very special. So I use a bunch of charts. Nobody, nobody really needs to know more about those. And I use a pendulum. And I use a very special pendulum. So this is not a crystal pendulum you get in like a car boot sale. And mm -hmm. we go through. We connect. I connect in with your, your field, if you want to, to call it, your energy. And then we just, we start. We look at the intentions of what we're trying to accomplish. For you, it might be your migraines. Mm -hmm. Uh, for others, it might be going through grief or, or coming to grips with anxiety and depression. Um, we There's a wide range of things. I mean, it, it can be a chronic illness as well. Uh, I work with a lot of people that have uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, Epstein-Barr virus, uh, fibromyalgia. So that's a big one for a lot of people. 
And we just go from there and we can find physical blocks, very specific physical blocks. We even get things like heavy metals that need to be detoxed from the body, or there could be a lot of emotional um, or mental uh, challenges that are there. And we pick them up and we just ask a lot of questions. We ask, you know, when, we ask the where, we ask the five W's, you know, we want to know who, what, where, when, why. Because if we can identify all of that and where it is in the body, then it can be released. And it's released in the session. And when I release something, it doesn't come back. Oftentimes okay. you'll need, so you need a session. You don't need a course. Well, it depends. Uh, you know, that that's tricky. Um, I'd love to say that I'm one and done. It depends on the trauma that we're dealing with. We are multi-layered as well as multi-dimensional. And so sometimes to get to the real root, you could need three to five sessions. But Vanessa will tell you, she was my client before she was my partner. And mm -hmm, Vanessa yeah. will tell you that she had viral arthritis when I met her. She, I didn't realize that she really couldn't walk. And we had five sessions in a very short time. And within five sessions, she was up doing what Vanessa does and Vanessa moves fast through everything. So the fact that she couldn't walk, she couldn't climb her stairs, she couldn't go for her long walks, that was an issue for her. So and after the fifth session, she sent me a picture of her dancing around her kitchen, which was, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That is amazing. Yeah. What a change. That was a change. But you deal with uh, other things, like even hormonal imbalances Absolutely. due to menopause. and Yes. It's one of my favorite things. Well, that is one of my favorite things to do because that is was actually a speciality in my uh, previous life as, you know, a functional medicine specialist because I'm a big proponent of bioidentical hormone replacement therapy etc. But with body response, we can identify exactly what it is that you need to be able to sail through menopause and get to the other side because there's just so much stigma around going through any kind of hormonal changes in our culture. Mm -hmm. There just is. It's not so much in the East. I studied a lot, uh, for a very long time in China. In the East, you don't find women going through as many hormonal issues. But in the West, because it's all, you know, we don't talk about the big menopause. We don't talk about, um, we don't talk about anything. When our, our little girls start their periods, we don't talk about that. You know, so hormonal challenges, we don't really. Well, in Eastern medicine, they call it the second spring, don't they, exactly. for women? Yes. They look at it from a positive a angle, almost like a reawakening right and we we actually in the west see it more as a problematic time of our lives exactly which doesn't necessarily have to be because actually i mean you're very young i'm 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 in my 50s I and am too i'm right there with you babe oh really oh well i i thought you're much younger than that no <laughs> thank you <laughs> well what i want to say that it's actually a very blessed time yeah in the sense that uh, we know who we are, we know where we want to go, and we are comfortable in ourselves and confident. And so uh, it is really like a second spring in that sense. You know, I didn't, I didn't feel as comfortable within my soul the way I feel now in my 20s. Absolutely. I mean, right? Although, I, you know, obviously I was... Uh, Porter and uh, wrinkle free and no gray and uh, um, you know flat stomach and you know all the nice things. I could use my flat stomach back, but I don't mind the wrinkles. I don't, you know, I do mind the grays, but you know, a little trip to the hairdresser now and again that takes care of that. I will not be yeah. one of those women that embrace the the gray, although the women that do, I just applaud them. Um. But, yeah, I wish I had my top stomach back. But that's about it. I like who I am. But it is a wonderful thing, Sophia, because when we age, it means we're alive. That's true. Every day you're on this earth means you're breathing. <laughs> so let's embrace the aging process. It's just, unfortunately, the way the world evolves. 
represents women you know we we do try to be forever young and forever useful and that's uh, very very difficult because it puts a lot of pressure on us women but uh, other than that it's actually a blessing to be able to age and to see those wrinkles of wisdom absolutely and you know i just i bless those men that actually embrace older women and they do exist okay <laughs> oh goodness me well i prefer the um the more mature looking man than the young guy me too so see and 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 so and th believe it or not i had a really interesting conversation with an older guy the um i guess about three weeks ago and we were talking and i i made a comment it was, an, it was i made a comment about him I think he probably chases 25 year olds or something now that he's in his 60s. He said, what are you talking about? What would I have to talk about with them? And I Ooh. just, he says, no, no, no. He goes, I don't want anybody under the age of 50. I just kind of, st and he just, yeah, and I, I just kind of stopped in my tracks. I didn't really know what to say because I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that before. So they do exist, ladies. It's interesting. Well, on the other hand, what 20-year-old would like to hang out with a 60-year-old? You know, let's be quite frank. <laughs> yeah. So, well, that's a conversation for another time. A way other time. In the 20s, yeah. no offense taken. We totally appreciate that you would not want to hang out, out with us. <laughs> At I our age. That. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All for age appropriate. But, yeah. Absolutely. And, My and at Elegant Alchemy, we, we believe, at, at Elegant Alchemy, we don't believe in anti-aging. We believe in well-aging. Exactly. Absolutely. And I was going to say that my mom always says that every season has its, bears its fruit, meaning every age has their own fruit. fruit. And your mother was a wise woman. And she's still alive, thank God for that, but she's 89 just turned two weeks ago so Congrats. yeah bless her heart wisdom there right there that's amazing right so if we talk um if we go back to sustainability yes what is your take on sustainability what does it mean to you it's such a big multifaceted and it word sustainability. and it's to everybody and everybody's striving to become more sustainable uh and we're, it's a journey so what what are your beliefs so my beliefs on sustainability is it's if we're talking about fashion, it's slow fashion. Um, I do. I myself don't like fast fashion. Um, we had on our, our if I don't know if anybody ever follows our Instagram. We actually put up a story about a, a I don't know. Oh, yeah, you commented on that. Need a morph bag. Um, we I made the mistake of, of having a foray into fast fashion. And it was a disaster. So fast fashion, if sustainability to us is about slowing down and buying responsibly, living responsibly. And when I say responsibly, if you can throw it away, um, you know, that's even, it could be your three cup of coffee a day habit from the local Starbucks. Um, you know, that's not sustainable. It's really not. I mean, every, you know, that coffee may taste good going down, but it's going to produce this, you know, thing that has to be dealt with. Uh, with sustainable fashion, it's about, um, <clears throat> well, we like our luxury at Elegant Alchemy. We're all about sustainable luxury, which is why we love the morph bag. Because your bags are things you are bags you can literally have for the next 20 years and they're still going to look amazing. That's important to us. So, sustainability is about it's slow, slow living, really. You know, not, yes, not aligned with us. Yeah, you know, no, fast food, no fast food, no fast fashion, no fast love. Everything slow, everything that's sustainable because that's when your energy is balanced and equal and sustainable. Yes. And I feel that, uh, you know, I didn't know Elegant Alchemy until a month ago. Mm. Or was it a month ago? Maybe two months ago. And uh, 
it felt to me almost uh, that it, we were meant to find each other because we are so very much aligned in our ethos and our values. Um, not only sustainable values, but uh, sustainable lifestyle values. Yeah, absolutely. That uh, it's uh, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to have this connection. And um, hopefully and much more to come. Yes, absolutely. And it's beautiful to be able to share this particular connection with uh, the wider community so they can benefit of the gift of healing. We're honored. We're honored to be a part of this. Sophia, thank you so much for having joined me today on my Empowering Move Moment <laughs> interview series. It's been wonderful to have you here. Thank you for your uh, transparency and being so open and being happy to, to tell your story, to tell your very, very personal story of um, deep, devast devastating bereavement. Um, it means a lot and it certainly helps other women who may have gone through a, diff, uh, a, a similar tragedy in their lives to hear uh, that uh, it can be turned into a new adventure and, and that gives positivity back. Absolutely. It's it has been a very spread of Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, darling. Have a good rest of the day. Ciao, ciao. See you soon. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye.